Hey everybody, I'm APH. Welcome back to Clan Folk. We are uh, starting day seven now. In the last episode, well, we got our house pretty much sorted out. We got our mines started, we got into iron, we got our timbery, so we can start getting into planks. Now we do have a lot queued up for today, and we're gonna go ahead and prioritize that just to get started so that we have branches going into the day, as well as we can see what the planks unlock, because we need more branches and well, Planks, they are required for advanced construction to unlock more items. Now taking a look at the actual list, I believe we didn't see anything that was... Oh, I know what those are going to be. Those are going to be planting. We didn't see exactly what it was unlocking. So we know this is going to be something like smoked meat. We know that this one right here is going to be something like a gold ingots. And hey, they've rearranged the actual skill tree a little bit more. This is nice. I did see in the changelog that they actually made it so that iced water doesn't show up. Now let's go ahead and hide our actual roof so we can see things. We'll make it auto so that as we scroll out it actually works. And I've been talking with a guy on the Discord, 30% I believe, at least I think it's a guy, don't know, don't quote me on that, about how to do tooltips for the demo. And I've got to say, if you haven't checked out the Discord, I'll leave a uh, link in the description to their Discord. It's a pretty good place to actually follow all the news and everything that goes along with the game. Now, getting started on what we're actually doing. Let's only take one thing of branches at first. That way we can get into planks and then we'll add the other nine back to the end of the, the actual task. Let's take a look at our food. It looks like we have enough for the day. Taking a look at our berries. Looks like some of them are up to 45%. I think it's time that we water them because it looks like the moisture is actually starting to go down. So we can go ahead and queue up that task. There we go. Didn't see the icon for a second there. And we'll go ahead and queue up the, the task over here as well. Now, our work zone, it looks like we have pretty much everything all set there. Our clothes are pretty well set. What I did queue up last time was flax seed so that we'd get the flax stems to see what that actually unlocked. And I needed two sacks in order to make the grain, the actual grain storage. Now, some silly billy put a bow inside our, our house. On the plus side, it looks good. Hopefully they'll get to actually making the outdoor bathroom today. Then I can move these around. And our sheep and everything's moving around. Let's take a look and see how the progression has gone. It looks like they're over the halfway point now for pregnancy. Hey, look at that. Unlocks mulch. We have an iron bin. Mulch. Our food is low and we have a plank storage. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I was saying that something on this line this one right here only required planks i was thinking that's what it was going to be for and we got the smithy yes sir we all know what that's good for producing iron tools and needs we're gonna place that let's take a look at it doesn't doesn't use fire a place for making basic tools We'll place it over with our actual smithy over here in our cave. I'm thinking just right there should be fine. And we're going to go ahead and it requires 50 bricks, which we probably don't have. And clay we might have, but we're getting a queue that we need another 50 bricks. So let's go ahead and get those queued up. And I don't think that we've placed our, our actual kiln back down. There's our charcoal kiln. There is our actual kiln. There we go. Let's get that moved over. Now, hindsight being 2020, I'm going to tell you right now. Find your mountain and immediately just build there. Let's get this bad boy right here. Hopefully it's far enough out. And we're going to go ahead and tell Jason to go ahead and prioritize that. Is He's our builder. Excellent. We've got a lot of berries still on the ground. It looks like they got about a day left. I want to keep from queuing up anymore until we've cleared out a little bit more. And from my understanding, they actually changed the job task priority 
for gathers to be a little bit higher. Ooh. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. Yeah, we'll kill the rabbit. Might as well. See if we can make that nice, tasty cooked meat. Oh, look at that. He's making planks. Excellent. Now, what did we actually unlock? Mulch. Oh, this looks nice. It's negative five for indoor, which means it's probably not very good for inside of a house. But maybe for like an animal bed? Medium flammability. Yeah, we don't want that inside. That's for sure. But if we had a lot of bark, we could possibly use that for our actual road. I wonder if these degrade. Something to actually have to look at and maintain. Oh, excellent. Our first cook deal of the day. I want to see something at the, the butcher block, guys. Go kill that rabbit. Now, we have room for our tools over here, so I don't know why they left the bow inside. Yep, coal's going to have to move over, and we're going to have to move over the wood ash. Let's get a storage for that over in our actual cave. I'm thinking this spot right here, because it looks like they can climb over the actual spots. I'm thinking just something really simple, just a general stockpile. Then we will go ahead and toggle everything off and only include wood, ash, and coal. That way it will be away from the actual forge and bloom and sm bloomery and smithy. And it will be in an area where we can actually, you know, keep track of it. And it stays dry. Look at that unlocked flak. A flat, uh, flat can be processed into linen. So we have to plant it. Now I wonder if we actually get something with the stalks themselves. Let's see where that, where that is. I mean, I'm thinking, yeah, the flak is up here. So that means this is going to be wheat. That's kind of what I figured. I'm not seeing a whole lot left to uncover up here. That means close has to be pretty far down the actual list. Let's take a look and see if we can see it. Just requires planks and something else. I got a feeling that this is going to be another storage that we unlock with the smithy. Yeah, nothing really in here that I'm seeing. Eventually, we're going to get into wool. So we're going to get shears at some point in time. Maybe we'll get into clothes when we get into the in down here with the wool. That would only make sense. Oh, look at this. Requires a sleeping mat, planks, straw, twine, plus two other things. I'm betting you this is a bed of some sort. A proper bed. Requires a flute and planks. Interesting. This is kind of a teaser, seeing these uh, things without actually knowing what they are. Oh, look at this. Requires branches, the cooking fire, and something, but it doesn't tell you what. Nice. Yeah, spoilers for the future, guys. Spoilers for the future. Let's get an iron bin down. Oh, well, what does it take? It takes logs and planks. Yeah, we'll let them just put iron on the ground for right now. We should probably tell this pile not to. That way they don't haul it all the way over here just to haul it all the way back. That's probably a good idea. Excellent. Ah, oh, Jason's making fish instead of doing what I needed him to do. I needed him to be on construction because he has got my highest point in construction. Instead, he's cooking. Well, food, food is a thing. Anybody who's ever played survival knows that you got to cook. Now, in the last episode, everybody had low health from the fact that they were starving. Now, taking a look real quick, it looks like everybody is pretty much recovered. Now, looks like the the health on the seniors is maybe a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm not seeing a debuff, so maybe the actual senior debuff gives them a little bit lower. As well as the health on the kids seems a little bit lower. Our baby looks like he's about a quarter of the way matured. And he's just kind of nandering around by the looks of it. Yeah, check that out. He's looking for somebody to talk to. Yep, look at that. Some love. Excellent. I really want that uh, smithy down so we can see what's unlocked. Jason, I need you to go over there and do some crafting. Please, sir. 
Oh, check this out. It figures that this is a quicker path than through the gravel. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Again, the kiln is ready. Let's go ahead and queue up those two bricks and let's go ahead and prioritize it. Looks like we've got our iron down. So now we're just waiting on just the bricks to actually make this happen. And coal is on demand, so we just have to let that do its own thing. And for gravel, we have tons of gravel, guys. Come grab it. Make this road. We want to do things quicker. So they've got red hair, which leads me to believe this is actually an Irish clan instead of a Scottish clan. As none of my clan members actually have red hair. It's all black hair. Black and brown. Ooh, yes. Move the branch pile. Not sure. Oh, yeah, I told you to take over to the cave. That's right. Good. We're making things happen. Let's go ahead and... Nah, let's not create up that yet. I was going to say let's move it over to the other ones, but I think it's beneficial just to let them finish what they're doing. Thrashing up some more actual uh, stocks of uh, flax stem. So again, it says used to make linen and can be broken down into straw. So I can break it down into straw, but I'm not seeing an actual tooltip over here that it can make anything else. Let's fish just a touch longer. Again, guys, this is a demo of early access, so it's not to say that this is in the game. A lot of things have not been implemented, and I know some days I get as many as two to three updates. Get twine. Planks. I'm not seeing anything with stems. That requires large rocks and something we haven't figured out yet. Strong twine. So this is actually showing. It's weird because these are showing, which means we've either had everything that it requires to unlock them or they're just showing. Yeah, I'm going to say clothes are not actually implemented. Look at this. It has an option for fertilizer here. So whenever we actually get fertilizer, which we should have it cooking down. Yeah, these these bars have been moving. I'm not sure how those bars actually equate out. Because all it just says is manure basket. Now, I think when you start, I think it's actually considered a dung basket. Oh, it is considered a manure basket off the bat. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. And we do have a supply of rope being made, but nobody's actually over there doing it. Now, the developer left a comment that if the parents have a, a room that is actually private, there is a chance that they will actually make another baby. I gotta tell you, for the future of the game, that's actually pretty exciting. For for a lot of reasons. I don't know when we're gonna actually meet other clans. I know that the the actual site says that we're gonna meet other clans, we're gonna be doing some other things, we're gonna be trading. You're moving branches, why are you not making coal? Oh, we need clay. Well, that's a deep to deep moment, guys. All of you, come collect the clay. Now, it does look like we can just keep queuing clay up over and over again, which means it's one of the renewable resources, which is good. Because eventually, over time, if we're not moving from one map to another, we will run out of things like stone and metal. But, then again, this could be where trade comes in. Yeah, look at that. Branches. Probably not the best place to put it over here, is they're going to be transferring everything back over to the other location. And hey, look at this. This one looks a little bit bigger than the rest, but maybe it's just the fact that it's wet. Because I remember these being smaller than that water icon, but yeah, you know, that was a couple days ago for me. Our outhouse is getting built. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now looking, it looks like some berries are starting to renew. 
what do we have up here? We have our ram. Hen. I'm not seeing any more rabbits. So that might be... I might be slowly hunting them down. Yeah, another one there and another one there. Ooh, there's two male rabbits. Now, I think before... Those were both female. So unless the hole randomly spawns different ones. Looks like I got some mushrooms starting in here and some... What might be mushrooms starting in there? Definitely have mushrooms here. Yeah, it's got to be getting close to the fall because I'm seeing more and more pop up. I'm liking that. These berries look like they're ready. And oh, God, look at that. That is just nasty. Now, there was a few berries that rotted in this area. Let's see if the actual fertilizer actually shows now. Yeah, this is probably where those things were rotting. And if we look over back here, again, our actual poop holes are showing red. And I thought we had some things. Yeah, up here. This is good. Now, typically, you don't see red as being a good, but I'm t thinking in this case... Red would be good. Typically, we would see green as being a, a good thing. And maybe red just represents low fertilizer and black represents no fertilizer. And then later on, it will change higher. Don't know. We'll see in the future as this gets even better and better. Let's go ahead and turn off our overlays. Now, what are you doing? See you transferring something. Oh, jug of water. Now, the other day I mentioned that I didn't know what they were transferring, and when I was watching the actual editing afterwards, it came to me, but at that point in time it was too little too late. They actually show their inventories down here. So when I clicked on the grandpa and was like, what is he hauling? He actually had two things in his inventory, which is why he looked goofy. So whenever you're like, why does he look goofy? Just click on them and it will show if they're, they're actually carrying anything. It's like there. Stacy has the water. And again, the the grandpa, oh, this is, the plaid was probably one of them, which gives a thousand mood and two thousand plaid. The other is, he's hauling around a stone hoe. And I think that's what he was hauling around before, was he was hauling it from one lo location to the other, and I was like, what is he actually carrying? And sure enough, there it is. And speaking of, there it is. That looks like it's pretty close to breaking, so we should probably queue up another one. And what we'll do this time is, as we're getting into actual metal tools, let's go ahead and set it to just on demand. And we'll do that for all of them, where they're just on demand need, because as we get into the actual better tools, it's probably beneficial that we try to upgrade instead of going back. Excellent. Now, what are you doing? Are you finally building the actual, uh, the loo? Yeah, check that out. Heh. And he's going to build the loo instead of building the actual house. Pretty goofy. Because I remember queuing this up first. Oh, and there's Judy doing some. And it looks like she just placed a bunch down. So it looks like it's up there. Excellent. Now they're getting it constructed. Now they can actually, well, the actual hole has to be prioritized too. So we'll get it prioritized so they get it built. And then we'll start removing these once that one's built. And we'll build a second spot as well. That way hopefully uh, the public poop shame goes away. Because, hey, I could imagine how they feel. If, oh my god, somebody might have seen me. Now, where are you going? You're building. Oh, you're going to make the actual poop hole. Good. Don't be going in there when Darlene's in there. Uh-uh. No, sir. Bad Eric. We're going to scroll off the screen for that. Low food. That's kind of be to be predicted. And taking a look, we do have some cook deal. So that equates out to be about 20,000 food, which is enough for two people completely. We've got some uh, mushrooms, but I think they're about to rot. 
Oh, they've got about a day left, and for the other mushrooms, those don't look ready yet. Got a couple of berries up there, and... There's an option to gather all berries in the map. And... My mind is a little fuzzy. I think it was Control A or something? Shift A? Well, either way, I'm not sure that I'd want to scroll that or uh, do that many, as I'm afraid they would actually all go to waste. But it looks like we have a good chunk there. A good chunk here. Oh, there's actually a ton of them in this area. That's pretty good. And. Once we get all of our brick, which we should have enough now, as the actual prelude went away that we need to collect it. Let's go ahead and cancel some of these tasks so that they get making the bricks. Yeah, we'll cancel some more of those. We, we don't need too much more brick until... That's probably a task, unless you can't collect it during the winter. That's probably a task for the winter. You know, when you're stuck inside just trying to survive... What else are you going to do than run the forge to keep things warm? That's all ready. Let's go ahead and take a look with our roof off. Oh, God, that's dark. Uh, do we need... A window? Not a critter door. A vent? Yeah, let's get a window. We'll go right there. Let's go ahead and prioritize that. I did not realize that was going to be that dark. Give them a little bit of a vented area. And let's go ahead and remove this zone. Ooh, now there's no actual deconstruction of it. It just plops it away. So now we need to get our next one going. So again, we're just going to use some hay. And eventually, what I'm thinking is eventually we're going to have to do something a little bit bigger here. We'll just go ahead and clear out this area. And another door. I guess I'm hoping this is well. I haven't seen. We've got the barn door. We've got the gate. And we just have straw door. I'd really like to see plank or not stone door. God, I wouldn't want to move that. But maybe plank doors down the road. But there was a lot in the roadmap that is not unlocked, just to be clear. There was things that did require planks and other things that I have not unlocked. So I believe it's under options, under basic needs, and let's go ahead and place that in there. Hoping we won't need the actual gravesite this uh, series. But I've been hearing a lot of rumors that people are, uh, are going through it. Oh, look. Hungry and task is cooking there. She's gonna cook up some of that eel Now what are you doing adding water and today you're finally adding water that's okay, and what we should do with this is Place it by this actual rabbit hole I Think it's under hunting Yeah, let's get that right here and we'll go ahead and task that up because we want to catch that rabbit I want to see if there's a difference between hunting the rabbit and actually catching the rabbit in terms of fur, meat, or if it becomes an actual tame. Now these do look like they're at 44%, where these are at 46 so they are full, uh, pulling apart now in the fact that the these were started after. Oh, look at that. Get that trap down. That way, when it wakes up, maybe we'll have to put four traps. Excellent, excellent. Taking a look, we've got some of our bricks being made. And it looks like we need another 25 after that round. Then we'll have our, our smithy. Taking a look, we've got some of our, our watering down. We've got some food going into tomorrow. We did finally make our planks. We got our bathroom down. We're slowly making progress, guys. It's the end of day seven. We're coming up on the last couple days. 
like to thank you guys for joining and we'll see you in the next episode where I really want to get that smithy down and get some tools. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.